So now we will discuss chapter 3. Slaughter of animals. Tiếng Việt nó là giết mổ động vật. And then again, this is my channel. If you don't know yet, go there and subscribe and watch. All the costs I will post there in the channels. So in case you would need to review before the exam, for example, you can watch again. In this chapter, we will discuss um, the several parts, slaughter steps, important steps in slaughtering animals, and then we will watch some video. In the past, when we study this chapter, we go to a real slaughterhouse to see what happened there. But now, you can actually watch video clips and then you can know already. You don't need to go directly to the factory. And then the third part, we will see some photos and so on, the real practice of animal slaughter in Vietnam. So we will see where we can still improve and where are good already. And then the last part, briefly we discuss manufacturing cuts. Có nghĩa là pha lóc từ tiếng Việt, thịt lóc thịt, lóc ở từng phần để đem bán là manufacturing cuts. So now we go to the first slaughtering steps. This is an illustration of how pigs are slaughtered. First step is ante-mortem inspection. Mortem means dead, ante means before. This is the inspection before death of the animal, before slaughtering. And then the next step is electrical stunning. Stunning is a process to make the animals unconscious. Okay. Unconscious doesn't mean that they are dead, okay? They just become unconscious, they are still alive. And then the next step is bleeding. La chọc tiết To remove the, the blood of the body. Before bleeding, we do stunning. So the first objective is to make the animals not feel the pain. When they are unconscious and you kill them, they don't feel pain. And then the next step is rinsing. Rinsing is not cleaning. It's not cleaning, it's rinsing. Using spray of water to rinse the surface. Scanding. Scanding is a heat treatment step that is just to heat the whole body of pig to loosen the hairs. So the next step we do the herring. The herring is to remove hair of the pigs. But before that, we need to do scanning, need to heat up. And then the next one is evisceration. Evisceration is opening the body. Opening the body to take out the internal organ. Internal organs take them out. And then we have again inspection, but not antemortem, but postmortem inspection. Post means after, after that inspection. The people who do the inspection cannot be anybody. The people who are assigned to do this, who have the knowledge to do this, so that they would know if the meat is suitable for human consumption or not. So if the pigs have some diseases which are not good for human consumption, then this guy will decide to remove, not to sell. Okay. And then the next step, storage or delivery. Now we have the basic steps in slaughter of cattle, cow, buffaloes. Here is a place where the animal can rest. It's called holding Larage is a place where the animal rests and feel relaxed. Before you kill them, you should have them feel okay, good. This is not only because of, we call this animal welfare. Animal welfare means đạo đức động vật. So you should treat them well before you kill them. You should not torture them. But also because of the quality of meat of the meat after that. If you let them relax, they will give you good meat. Something like that. And then this is the place where the animal now walk to the final 
destiny where they should walk to. And here we also have the same similar like the other case, antemortem inspection. And then stunning. Stunning is to kill the animals or what? Is it true to kill the animal? No. To make them unconscious so they don't feel pain in the next step. This is also because of the animal welfare and the quality of the meat that we should do that. If you look, you see the method of stunning is not the same like for pigs anymore. But here they do uh, stunning of the cattle by using, you call it, captive boat pistol. We will discuss more in detail later. Like a gun shoot into the head to make the animal unconscious. And then we, like we hang them up like this. And then the next step is to do bleeding, sticking and bleeding. We use a knife to pierce into the neck and then to cut the blood vessel, the blood can be removed. The next step is to cut or to remove the head, the legs, the tail. Instead of the herring, in cattle, we do the hiding. Hide, the hiding, okay? Hide means the skin. The hiding means to remove the, the skin. For the pigs, we can eat the skin, so we just remove the hair. But for cattle, we cannot eat the skin, so we remove the skin. And then, evisceration. Evisceration is to open the brisket and the, the abdominal part to take out the internal organs. And here in cattle, we do splitting. Splitting is to, to, to cut the body into halves. And the next step is post-mortem inspection. Again, to check the quality of the carcasses to see if they are suitable for human food. And the post-mortem inspection is carried out by meat inspectors. Meat inspectors, not by anybody. Là những cái người kiểm tra thịt. Đây là những bác sĩ thú y. Veterinary doctors. And then rinsing, rinsing of the carcass and the offals. From here, when we cut, remove the internal organ and so on, so you see that they go together. The internal part, the cut out part, and the carcass, they go together at the same speed. So when these meat inspector check, they can also check on the carcasses, on the internal organs, and the other part. The offals together in one animal. And then here, quartering. Quarter means one fourth. So quartering is to cut further one carcass into four main parts. It's a primal cut to have four quarters. And then storage, delivery. So these are the main steps in slaughtering cattle. Here you see the cows. But at certain step, after the hiding, now they look like mice. Here they cut the head. They already cut the legs and the tail somewhere there. And you see here, they will do evisceration. And here, uh, split the body. Somewhere here, post-mortem inspection. So the internal part will go together up to here. Now, we will do step by step. First introduction. The methods that we use to slaughter animals can influence, can affect what? The carcass and meat quality. So that's why we need to learn. That's why we need to do properly. Also influence animals' welfare. Treating good to the animal. Also the safety of the personnel who operate the system. Especially when doing slaughtering cattle, they are very strong. So the ways we do should be safe to us, to the people who do the slaughtering. Many methods are also influenced by religious belief. In some religions, La Tong Yao, they have more or less different way of doing, especially the sticking step. For example, for the Jews and for the Muslims, Jews mean the people from Israel, Israelite. They have different way, of, a little bit different, also the Muslim. Then they do not do stunning. They do not do this step. 
for example là Muslim there should be a priest có một ông thầy ông cầu nguyện trước khi giết nó nha yeah. chứ không có chọc tiết hay là người um, Israel lý do là gì Okay, in most forms of religious uh, slaughter, the animals are not stunned before they are killed by sticking or exsanguination. What is exsanguination? Exsanguination is sticking, bleeding, to remove the blood. Because according to this belief, the dead should feel the pain. The animal die for human, for the sins of human, so they should suffer the pain.